Welcome to the Greenville History Museum, and we're glad to show you and give you a video trip through the museum, and we'll start here. This is the turn of the century exhibit from 1850 to 1900. This shows different photographs and documents highlighting a lot of Greenville history from right before the Civil War to around 1900. have the second exhibit going to the Great Flood of 1927 and in this particular area of the museum it highlights all of the different situations going on through the flood situation when the, and the whole story of the 27 flood can be broken down into one short little paragraph the levee broke and brought a torrent 10 feet deep the size of Rhode Island it was 36 hours coming and four months going it was deep enough to drown a man, swift enough to upset a boat, and lasting enough to cancel a crop year. This was written by William Alexander Percy in his book, Lanterns on the Levee. We move on chronologically to the 1920s and 30s. These photographs and artifacts highlight what was going on in Greenville and the growth of Greenville and downtown Greenville and when the Hotel Greenville was built and the Elks Club was thriving and the Paramount Theater had a great show with Gene Harlow starring in Hell's Angel.
moving on to the fabulous 40s and 50s. This was during the war years, 1940 to 1950, and this exhibit also highlights Greenville and downtown Greenville and photographs of not only Greenville, but of Greenville Air Force Base, which was then Greenville Army Airfield. This interesting looking device was Doe's Eat Place hot tamale machine that was fabricated in 1950s. It's a great, great, great wonder of a machine and it still works. Great panel, wall panel showing downtown Greenville around 1955, showing all of the great traffic down Washington Avenue. This chamber of the museum highlights the manufacturing that grew and developed in Greenville during the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. This quote is for the radio station upstairs. Upstairs, I have reassembled the radio station studios of WJPR in Greenville, Mississippi. It started in 1939. These are the soundboards and turntables from that era.